painful journey for a local pastor. Jerry Johns had 12, count them, 12 botched eye surgeries and needed help. And he came to Dr. Arungalani here and now has 2020 vision. Remember the song by Johnny Nash, I Can See Clearly Now? The man can see clearly. It's Pastor Johns and Dr. Galani, both here on The Morning Show. Good to have you here. Great to be here. Doc, let me start with the pastor. Good morning, sir. We've actually known each other for 30 years because we used to work together at a TV station down in Orlando. And it's a whole story how he went to the pulpit, but we don't have time for that. So you couldn't see. And I mean, it's a challenge for a pastor because, you know, you're reading a sermon and you're trying to, you know, communicate with your congregants. You've got to be distracted because you can't see what's going on. I literally could not see the people out in the congregation who was there. Of course, they could sleep. That was a good thing. You know, they could sleep through the sermon. But I was struggling and I had tried to find doctor after doctor. And then I discovered the world's best surgeon was right here in Jackson. So 12 botched surgeries. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then you come to see Dr. Galani and you have your consultation. Are you a little skeptical? Really? Of course. Really? You know, I thought, okay, I'm going to hear another line. And he says, I can fix this. And, you know, and I was skeptical, but he did. Doc, pick up the story. How, after 12 other surgeries that didn't go as they were supposed to, did you find something that changed this man's life? As I've said in many interviews before, Bruce, and what I teach all over the world is patients need to understand that they don't need to settle for cookie cutter surgeries. I believe, and I call this when on stages when I speak to surgeons, I call this performing without GPS, meaning you're constantly talking about new technologies and you're performing techniques, but not logically planning vision. So there are over 21 ways of doing LASIK, there are 18 ways of doing cataract surgery, then there are technology options. I think it's a patient's birthright today to ask for a custom design surgery. So what you're saying is that people will come to you and you advise them that there is a roadmap to deal with your specific situation. Absolutely. Everyone's individual vision is so different and then their goals are different. So you design it using all the latest technology but in the right sequence. So for example, in Jerry's case, it did not matter that he had had 12 procedures. When you look at his eye as a camera, you pick up the latest technologies we have and decide how do we reverse this, not only reverse it, but take it to 2020. And that's a possibility today. So Pastor? You undergo the procedure. Undergo the procedure. All right. You're, it, it, and it's a very short procedure. Mm -hmm. But you get back home, and you're on the pulpit for the first time since Dr. Galani worked his magic. What are you thinking? Now I'm thinking, okay, all you people who are sleeping out there, it's over. <laughs> you got to wake up and listen to the sermon now. No, I can, I can do what God called me to do now. I can have my life. I can check on my congregation. I can go to the hospital. I drove here this morning. For the first time in five years, I drove. Well, your wife used to have to do the yeah, driving. Yeah, she you, drove right? me everywhere, yeah. and I was able to drive this morning. And it's just such a relief to to know that I thought I was finished. I thought my career was over. I was going to have to take early retirement, and I don't. I Dr. Continue. Garney, what what questions do people need to ask if they're uh, you know uh, on the precipice of problems with their eyes and they need some sort of a surgical procedure? The first most important thing is don't get into the situation. Meaning. Meet with your surgeon, ask that the surgery be designed to you. Don't fall for advertising and hyped up technology. Everything's great, but it has to be designed to you. Second part is if you do land up like Jerry, which is most of these patients who fly to me after many procedures, is understand again and stop. Don't keep going into surgeries. Meet with the doctor and say, okay, how do we take me to better vision now? What's the plan and process here with the least surgical intervention? So I do believe today with thousands of patients like Jerry who are out there, Patients with badly done or poorly done LASIK or cataract or keratoconus or stigmatism surgery can be corrected to excellent vision. It is a possibility. Do you find it ironic, and I don't mean to minimize this by, by my statement, people will take weeks and shop around from dealership to dealership to dealership for a car, but when it comes to their medical care, they don't. But now with, I believe, the internet and uh, Google transparency, Bruce, and the intelligence that patients are showing with, in, in getting involved in their care, I believe it will change. I believe doctors will be held more uh, accountable, and I do believe patients will demand a custom design vision plan. So today, if you have, let's say, cataract, you will not go and go, okay, let me jump onto the cookie cutter belt and get me done. I'm, I'm going to meet the best. I'm going to sit down and find out what's my goals and can I get it. Same with LASIK, same with if you had a bad outcome of any of these surgeries. The ultimate test. Yes. We've known each other for 30 years. Do I look the same as 30 years ago? You have not aged today, whether Doc, I have got... We need to revisit this procedure. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Good to you here. Bless you. Good to see you, man. It's a pleasure. For the latest health headlines, and to watch this interview again, it'll be posted on newsforjax.com at about 10.30 this morning. Rich, kind of cold out there.